Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these large flowers colorful earrings. Please subscribe with the bell, like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. And now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 seed beads, yellow, orange, red and turquoise. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is Nyman Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or 12. The smaller sizes are easier to work with. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little bit more than an an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up those beautiful red beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made like this and pulling. Okay, now what I want to do is to make just one more knot, just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And I have this beautiful circle of beads, guys. Then I will go through some beads in this direction. And in my next step, guys, I'm going to take one turquoise bead and I will go back through this red bead that I'm exiting out of. You see, I'm exiting out of this red bead and I'm going backwards through it with a turquoise one. Okay, now I have this bead attached with a loop, you see. I have a loop between this and this one and I have it attached here. Then I'm going in the next one Take again a turquoise, go back through this red the same way, attach it with a loop, then go in the next red. Take another turquoise and when you go through this one also go through the following just to save time. Okay, I have this. And I'm going to repeat this, guys, until the end of this row. Okay, my friends, now I have this and in my next step, what I want to do is as I'm exiting from this red bead in the inner circle to go through the turquoise bead that I have here. Okay, now I'm exiting out of the turquoise and I will take just one orange bead and I go in the next turquoise. Okay another orange bead go in the following turquoise again orange okay guys and I'm gonna be filling the gaps here that I have with orange beads I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here at the last step Okay guys, and here is my last orange bead that I have. 
and I'm going through the last two crease, filling the last gap. Okay, now I have this. Now, guys, I'm ready to make another row. But before I do this, I prefer to flip my work because it will be easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right-handed. And as I'm exiting out of turquoise bead, I'm taking two turquoise and I'm going back through this turquoise and through the following orange as well. So the same way uh, I'm adding uh, with loop, but this time two beads instead of one. And then I need one yellow and I'm going back through the orange and exiting out of the next turquoise. Now I have this. Then again two turquoise beads. Go back through this turquoise and exit out of the next orange. Take only one yellow. Go back through the orange and exit out of the next turquoise. Again, two turquoise. One yellow. Okay, guys. And I think you got the idea. Now add everywhere where you have turquoise, two turquoise beads and everywhere where you have orange, one yellow bead. Continue this and meet me here at this part. And here I am guys at my last step where I need to add my last yellow bead. I'm adding it again like this around the orange bead. And then I'm going in the next one of the two next turquoise, the first one. And I take red, yellow, red and go in the following turquoise, then in the yellow and in the turquoise after that. So I'm going through these three turquoise, yellow, turquoise. Then again, red, yellow, red. And go through these three beads here. Red, yellow, red. And go through the following three. Okay. And I will continue this red yellow red and go through three and when i'm up to this part here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and i'm here at my last step where i add my last red yellow red again i go through three beads here okay now i think it's time to cut this tail thread because it's on my way all the time and what i do next is go here in this red one in my next step i need four red beads and as i'm exiting from this red i'm skipping the yellow and i'm going in the next red one okay then i take two turquoise beads and I go in the next red one just like this and I take four skip the yellow go in this red two turquoise go in this red and four red And after that, two turquoise. Okay, and I'm going to continue this, guys, forming these cute little flowers. 
4 red, 2 turquoise, 4 red, 2 turquoise. I will continue this and I'll meet you here at this point. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last 4 red. And then the last 2 turquoise. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I want to go through these two beads here. I take one red bead and I go through the next two red beads. In this way, I'm forming something like an angle. And I take two turquoise beads and I go here through these two reds, you see, not through this one down there, but through the following two. And now I'm in a position to form an angle. And then I take two turquoise. Go in these two red beads at the side with them. One red. After that, take two turquoise. Okay. And I'm going to continue one red to turquoise and when I'm ready, I'll be back and meet you here. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I need to add the last two turquoise beads from this row. And now I must say that if you like smaller elements, you could finish your earring like this at this row. Uh, or at the next row that I'm going to be showing you because after that the whole thing is expanding okay now in my next row what i want to do is to reach here these turquoise beads and i will take three turquoise and i'm going back through these two and then through some beads in this direction now i have something like a leaf between my flowers okay then I'm going through all of those beads aiming for the next two turquoise beads and I need three turquoise I go back through these two and after that I'm going in the red one through as many beads as I can in this direction Okay, I have this, then I go through all of those beads and exit here after the turquoise and I take three again and I go backwards and through some beads and now guys I'm going to continue this adding three beads everywhere at the turquoise part and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three turquoise beads. Then I go again here through these red beads like I did before. And now I wanna exit through one of my red beads. Now, what I need to take here are nine yellow beads. Nine of them. And I'm going to slide those down. And after that, I'm going in this red bead here. Okay, then again I take nine and I go here in the next bead that is sticking out. Nine beads again 
and go in this one that is sticking out. Okay, continue this row and when you're ready, I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I have nine yellow beads and I'm going through this red one. In my next row, guys, what I want to do is to go through three yellow beads in this direction. And I'm taking one orange bead and I go back through this one that I'm exiting out of and through the following two. Okay, I have here a loop between the yellow and the orange bead and I pull. Okay, this is what I have. Then I take another another orange and I go back through this yellow and also through the following two yellows. And I pull. I have the same thing here. Then I take another orange and I go through this yellow and through the following two yellows. Going back in circle through this one and through two more. Then another orange and I go through these three beads here. I have this. Take orange bead, go back through this third bead from the yellow part and then through two more beads in this direction. So going through three in total. Then another orange, go back through this one and through the following two. Orange, go back through this one and go through the next two. Orange, go through the following three beads. Orange, go through this one and through the following two. Again, orange, go through this one and through the following two. Orange, go through this one and through the following two. And then another orange and I start over by going through three yellows, okay? Now guys, I'm going to continue absolutely the same thing until I reach here. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from this part and repeat it everywhere until the end. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last orange bead at the inner angle. And I'm going through the next three beads. And don't worry that at this stage your work bends a little bit. We'll fix it later. Okay, now I'm exiting out of the third yellow. You see here I am. And what I want to do is to go back through this orange. And in this way I'm changing directions. And what I need to take next are two orange beads. And I go here through this orange at the, the angle, okay? Then I take two orange beads again and I go through the following orange, okay? In my next step, guess what? I'm taking two orange beads and going in the next orange. Again, two, go in the next orange, two again, go in the next orange. If it's easier for you, you could flip your work while doing it. Okay, now I will continue the same way 
two orange beads go in the next orange and I'm just filling the gaps guys between the beads that I added in my previous row and I'm making a nice line around the yellow beads which consists of orange beads okay and I'm going to continue these guys until until the end and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm filling the last gap of my work and what I do is that I exit here at this angle you see at the orange angle now what I want to do is to flip my work because I as I said I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to work in this direction so what I do next is that I go through the bead which is next after the angle and I take three red beads and I go through the bead that is just before the angle okay you see this one is before the angle and I'm going through it back in circle like this okay then I will go in this direction through five beads then I take three red beads and I go I skip the one that's on my way not go through this central bead and I go through all of those beads exiting out of the next angle okay now I have this then I'm going through the bead after the angle take three red beads and I go through the bead which is before the angle okay like this then I go through five beads in this direction And I take three red beads, skip the one that's on my way, which is the central one, and go through five beads plus the angle bead. Okay. And I'm going to repeat these guys until the end of this row. It's easy. I'm going through the bead after the inner angle. I'm taking three red beads. I'm going through the bead before the inner angle then I'm going through five beads I take three beads skip the central one and go through all of those beads in this direction okay guys and I'm going to continue these steps until the end of this row and then I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row I'm adding them at the same place now my work stays nice and tight if you want to straighten up your work more uh, you could put a cotton cloth over it, iron it and then apply transparent nail polish or a special clear crafting glue at the back of your work. In this way it will stay perfectly straight. I had a poll where you specified different brands of clear crafting glue uh, to use for that purpose and uh, if you check the polls at my community tab you will see it okay so now I'm going to show you how to attach your earring finding the first step is to exit here at this red bead then take a turquoise bead an earring finding and a turquoise bead and 
go back here through this red one. Then what you want to do is to reinforce your work. It's, if it's not in the middle, just fix it a little bit. Okay. And after you reinforce your work, you could go through some beads in this direction. Let's say you could go at some of the angles here. And you could make a knot and cut your thread. How I do this, I make here a loop. And I go twice through the loop I've made, I pull. And after I pull, I go through some beads in this direction. You could repeat the knots several more times if you want. And uh, after the last knot, go through some beads and cut your thread. Never cut next to a knot. Okay. And now my big flower colorful earrings are ready. Okay guys, and now my large flowers colorful earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And also hit the bell button, in this way you will be notified for new tutorials, usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and this is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Also, you could check description for a full list of materials and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.